Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Unity Tutorial and for this tutorial we actually uh, it's gonna show off very simple stuff very very basic stuff is basically the gravity so let's say because the usual one they said is when you start your gravity will go down like this but for this tutorial I'm actually gonna show off like, uh, how to make it go up you know like change gravity you can change whatever you type of gravity you want so first of all how you want to set the gravity of this is go to edit, project settings, and physics. So basically this physics is the one that you want to change every single time. So let's say when I play, and when I hit like 9, and then I move the object. Okay, because I set my code to that. Give me a minute, let me just quickly... Okay, so now let's go back to my edit. So let's say if I set 9, you can actually see my uh, box go up. So if I put like, let's say, negative 2 and enter, my box should go down like this. Okay, so next, let's say if I put 5. box will go right, like this, or left, depending on how you want to call it. So basically the gravity you now is pulling to the left, not like move the object to the left. So how actually you want to make the, you want to edit your gravity by using code and not shifting the, by not going edit and project settings, physics and change it. So how you want to change it without messing around here in this editor mode. So first of all make a script, copy stay, and I'm using the same script, same as the same, same as before. And for here, all I need to do is just add a boolean change gravity. I mean, this is basically for this. I'm just gonna make it something like Gravity Guy stuff like that. So you can make games like Gravity Guy actually. So make a boolean uh, change gravity. So make a private bool change gravity. I'm just going to rewrite it again so that you can, uh, you guys can follow. Like this. So, after that, after you make a change gravity, you s I set it to false. So, change gravity equals to false. It's very simple. So, basically, when it's changed, basically, it's the gravity you want it to be, to be in the end. So, Let's say if I hit a certain button for now, let's say if I hit a certain button, like Gravity Guy, let's say you hit, you tap the button, or let's say you click, and then you change gravity is true, then you will be false. So this one will be the part where it's, when it's really change to not change. Okay? So you can you can do whatever you want for here. For my, for mine, I'm just gonna put uh, if I let's say I hit the S key from my keyboard. If I hit the S key from my keyboard, then my gravity thing will change every single time. So if this okay, so actually I should put this first. So if this is if I let's say I hit S and I change gravity is false, which is at the start is false, like here, and then my change gravity should be true. So what which one will determine it? So we want to make sure that let's say if your gravity is true, what will happen? So it's true. So this basically this is the one that you want it to change its gravity. So how you want to change it? Physics dot gravity equals new factor three and your three numbers. And that's it. That's really it. So let's say if I want my X to move, I can actually do like this. And let's see if I want to do it normal. You can mess around with this, like it's really. And then last but not least, make it let's say if it's false, which means it's static. So change gravity is false. Dot gravity equals 
is the new factor 3 and whatever you want like this is the part where it's default but you can actually mess around with it so because at the start it's false right so you can even like do something like this basically you can just mess, we can mess, mess around with anything else you can make even cool stuff with this style of things and so yeah let me just quickly go back to my cube and make another them uh, bound, make the boundaries a bit bigger stuff like that and give a minute I'm gonna take a while to do it and let's put on this like this so you should have still freeze set so like this so at my start my cube will actually go like this now. Uh, gravity, and then I press S, <coughs> you will shift to another side, like that. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this, and you can see like the rest of my items here also get affected from it. So let's say you want to change, like, I don't want to change, I don't want to touch the Z position because I don't set the boundary, I can't see it. So let's say if I put it more obvious, I put like very obvious. So if I put 50, you actually can see it shift very violently. So at the start, the thing just shift violently. Like this. So you can make just you can just mess around with all these gravity type, gravity type things. And basically that's really it. So let's say if you are doing a character type of thing and let's say you want to so let's say you have a character that's standing out like this, right? For example, your character is standing like this. Go like that. And let's say when he moves up, you want your character to rotation to be... Or you want the character to move upside down as well, right? So what you can do is you can make it skill from here. Go Just put a negative in front of it. So if let's say... So exactly. So for this, let's say you want to make from the top, and then let's say you change gravity, you want it to switch its scale. Just simply put a negative in front of the thing. Oh, sorry, not that. Just put a negative in front, and then you will actually see your whole character moving upside down. So what you need to do is just basically call a player here. So let's say public game object uh, player, for example, player, and then so let's say if your gravity is true, which is uh, when it's change, then you want the player scale to change too. So transform dot position. No, actually not position, scale. So local scale equals new vector tree and then uh, whatever I'm calling it. So probably 6.2 and then just put negative in front of the thing. Negative 0 0.07F and 3.6F like that. Very simple. So, simply just write the same thing over again for your change gravity falls and take out the negative. And that's really it. So now I just need to go to my uh, find my explorer, uh, exploring script, and basically drag them in. You can find it now. Okay, I just gotta make a MDM game object here. And this will be my game manager. I think we just put it here. And oh, okay. Now my I found it. So basically, my wall. Just simply drag my cube here. Save here. So this will be my uh, gravity test. I'm just gonna name it gravity test.
Okay. Simple. So as I start, you may not be able to see it, but let's say. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's say, for example, this guy got a hit. I'm just gonna make it a bit obvious now. Because you can't really tell. Okay, so this is the top, right? So this will be hit, for example. Okay, hit. Just drag it here. That's it. Hmm, it's not attached. Okay. There we go. So let's say if I press S. So it's not that. So it's not the Y position, but maybe the oh, because I just switch it like this. Okay, give a moment. Let me just put it negative here and see what happens. Okay, not this too. There we go. So as you can see, my this position is supposed to go up. So let's say if I press when I mean it's false, then you go down, and then you have this head over here. You know, you move up, your head will move down. I mean, your head will face down instead, because you set your skill to negative. Just put negative in one of it. Just put negative one of it, and that's really much, pretty much it for this. And so yeah, so this is the end of this. Happy New Year, wish you guys a Happy New Year, and see you guys then.